Hey everyone, today I am going to do a quick review on Stephen King's The Wind Through the Keyhole. This is actually the eighth and final installment in the Dark Tower series, although it takes place after the conclusion in Book 7, The Dark Tower. It fits chronologically between Book 4 and 5, a fourth and a half installment. This book begins with our quartet after the fourth book. They are traveling through a land, and they come to a river, and a ferryman offers to take them across. As they are crossing the river, the boat operator tells them that a great storm is coming and they need to seek out shelter. Shortly thereafter, they seek out shelter, and Roland decides to tell a backstory. And the backstory is about him in his youth, coming up as a young gunslinger, and his buddies, his, his quartet as a youth, seeking out a skin man. There's a story going around that there's a skin man, a man that transforms into animals at night and attacks people. So Roland and his gunslinger quartet as a youth go out and they attempt to bring justice to this whole skin man situation. While Roland is telling this story, within the story, a character tells a tale. And that tale is called The Wind Through the Keyhole. It is a fantasy fairy tale kind of story about a young man named Tim and his evil stepfather and his mother. There are dragons involved. Tim goes on a quest. And that is the story that the character within the story tells. As that character finishes that story, Roland then finishes his story about seeking out justice against the skin man. That is the story that takes place in a wind, The Wind Through the Keyhole. It's actually another backstory. I read this one in between book four and five. I recommend that you read this one after you finish the series. After you finish the novel The Dark Tower, the final installment, I would recommend then you go ahead and read this. Book four is primarily a backstory, and book four and a half is yet another backstory. So I really just wanted to get through this to get on to book five. As this book finishes out, our quartet is traveling to Kala Brian Sturgis, which is the city in the plot of the fifth novel. I give this book I'd give it three stars out of five because it's a good tale, but I really just almost wanted to skip by this one, even though I didn't. As soon as I realized that it was another backstory, I kind of just wanted to rush through it. I think I would have enjoyed it more had I come back after I made it to the final installment and finished that one. I think I would have enjoyed this more. I wouldn't have been trying to rush through it quite so much. I'm going to give it three stars out of five. In the story, there is some of the back part of the plot is filled in. You get a better idea of the tower, or, or of what the tower is, and why Roland is on his quest, as he tells another story about his childhood. But I think it comes more appropriately at the finish of the series. So I'm going to give it three stars out of five. It's a quality book. I recommend that you read it after you read The Dark Tower. You must read this one. I'm giving it uh, my recommendation. The Wind Through the Keyhole. Must read if you're on your way to the tower.